because this isn't about productivity and safety. It's about safe productivity. It's all about safe productivity. Safety enhances everything that you do. I love what I do. It's my passion and purpose to help both leaders and workers come together to improve safety and EHS performance, to catapult your current level of safety achievement to an entirely greater level of success. I think the thing that makes it so important is safety is leadership. It's about creating an environment where you care about your people and they care about each other. It's what Burns and Max have out and it was just one of the greatest presentations and speeches I've ever had. My first real job was as a laborer in heavy construction. I worked at a mine prep plant outside of Wheeling, West Virginia. It was dirty, it was difficult, it was demanding, and it was dangerous. If it weren't for some of the veterans looking out for me, I wouldn't be alive to tell my story. He took a room of grown men and women and motivated them, got them to think about safety. And the first time ever I've seen this group give somebody a standing ovation. David Sarkis is electrifying, he's knowledgeable, he's funny, and he's just downright outstanding. I'm the son of a steel worker who grew up in steel country just south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm someone with decades of experience. My father influenced my life calling. My dad told me stories about workers who slipped and fell into a molten ladle of steel. Their bodies disintegrated, but production never stopped. Dad also told me about the smog disaster here in Donora. In 1948, 20 people died over one weekend. We've moved beyond that, but still, much improvement needs to be made. Are you worth following when it comes to your safety and your health? Would you begin to follow you? We just had our safety stand down and had David as our guest speaker. Did an outstanding job of emphasizing why we work safe, why we need to. Really entertaining, very engaging. It's a great speech. As a laborer, I've worked in the trenches. And as a consultant and coach, I continue to work with executive leaders. I've been very fortunate to speak and consult for some of the biggest and best organizations in the world. This is about moving our people, our leaders, from positional power based on rank and title to personal power based on likability and trust and admiration. Just had David come in and speak to our sales team and it was absolutely amazing. Um, he got a standing ovation. Everyone was incredibly um, appreciative of him coming in. Couldn't have been more excited. We're all pumped. It was just such a great speech. Thank you so much, David. I bring people together, getting them excited, engaged, and energized about improving EHS performance, connecting hearts and minds, and stirring your vision for excellence, moving your people to action and reductions in injuries that exceed 80%. He promised each and every man, I will not lose one of you, not one of you will I lose. He had what Peter Drucker says is so important for us as leaders, he had empathy. He was able to look through his men rather than simply at them, through them to see what they valued so that he could connect with them emotionally. We owe a debt of service to the greatest generation, our moms and dads, grandmothers and grandfathers who paid the price, at times with their very lives. The best conference he's ever been to and the best speaker he's ever had. He made it personal, he made it funny, he involved the people. Great speaker. The presentation was phenomenal. It was tremendous. It was incredible and it was empowering. It was phenomenal. <laughs> it was by far the best closing keynote that we've had in the 30 year history of this conference. It was beautiful, you are awesome speaker there. I love you! I care about what happens to you and your people. And I want to make a difference in your organization. Let's go.